Hi, my name is Fawn, and I'm going to do a palette knife painting for you. Hope to show you some tips and uh, give you some inspiration. We all could use a lot of that these days. So you'll find a list of supplies down below and some links if you want to check that out. And uh, what I've done is I've started with a board. You can use a canvas or a board, panel board, canvas board stretch canvas, on and on it goes. I'm using a hard board and I've sanded it, uh, primed it with gesso, and I like to put color in my primer just to uh, get rid of some of the white before I start. Uh, so if something shows through, it's not just white holes or white glaring spots, it's a little bit of color. You can use blue or gray or brown, whatever you want uh, in your gesso. Uh, let's see, I started with a drawing on paper and I cut it out and what you don't want to do is put it straight. Boring. <laughs> uh, let's turn things, twist things, flip it around, find an, a way you want it to go and uh, just give yourself some lines. Now you can use charcoal, I've used a white charcoal pencil, uh, you can use a pastel or chalk just because it wipes off so easily. Okay, I'm using uh, acrylic paints and palette knives. A painting knife or palette knife, I like the bend in the handle. They come in lots of sizes and uh, some are plastic. I like these for my students, my young children classes. Well, I used to do classes. Uh, now I do private, semi-private lessons. Anyway. So, I'll pick out one that's very thin for small areas and one that's a little more round for bigger areas. And these great big guys, these are for scraping out or laying in huge huge amounts of paint. Okay. Let me get us started. I like to lay out my colors kind of like a color wheel and uh, mix up some lighter values. I won't be using all these colors for this painting. Mostly I'll be in my cool colors, um, sky colors, because uh, I'm thinking I want a little softer, softer effect. A lot of my angel paintings I do uh, like really bright, bold rainbow colors. So that's why this is set up that way. Okay. So here we go. Another thing, uh, I like to play music. I love to play Christian music, upbeat contemporary music while I paint. Um, help, helps me connect. I pray while I paint. I, I just like getting in that zone or that um, creative state of mind and that helps me. But I found out the hard way I can't just play my favorite songs while I do a video and have it in the background um, because they put a strike against me on my video. <laughs> Uh, copyright claims and that. So you'll just have to put up with me and my voice and uh, and my noises, whatever. So I want to think about clouds and sky and colors like that. So definitely want some light blue. This is ultramarine blue and white. And I'm going to just start with lots of it. And I like to get the knife a little bit flat to the uh, board. And I'm going to go darker as I go up. This adds a little bit of depth.
Now, I'll be leaving some holes, and that's fine. If you don't want holes, you can do a better job. I'm going to try to move quickly so this video doesn't take forever. Um, I'm fairly new at making videos. Just bear with me. Okay. So the idea is you want to mix, do most of your mixing on your canvas or support because you want to get these interesting mixtures. You don't want to uh, just have it all one solid color. You want to overlap. And that's what makes a palette knife painting more interesting, I think, as you go along. I am definitely going to have to have more white. I use a lot of white paint. I like these jars. because you can get the paint back in the jar. Uh, I swear, if you have these tubes and you have leftover paint, it's like almost impossible to get them back in. Used to, they made it wide enough, but now the new bottles, you can't, you can't get it back in there. Plus, with a palette knife painting, you tend to use a lot more. Uh, a lot more paint in general. You want it thick. You want to cover it well. You don't want to leave uh, just a puny amount of paint on there. I'm going to start with just a little bit of pink. This is Napsol Crimson on the side here. You can use any bright red. And that makes a nice pink. You can see that there. And these uh, pinks and blues go well together. They'll make a nice lap lavender, <laughs> excuse me, a uh, lavender kind of a color. So my angel will probably disappear as I go, and that's fine. I will. Uh, Try to save a few spots where, like, here's her wings. Just to help me not totally obliterate her before I put her back in. Uh, also, that will help me not to put too much paint uh, around that area. Where when I go back, it's easier to, uh, to lay her in. a nice color a little bit of a lavenderish is that a word <laughs> lavenderish i guess though i'll make it up as i go um probably want this cloud to not be as high as this one and that paint's still nice and wet easy to work with so you can see i kind of work my way down um, and i try to work wet into wet as much as possible it's okay to come back and add add things when it's dry, but the more wet and wet that you can get, the nicer it is, the effect is nicer. Okay. Maybe a hint of pink in there would be nice. Pink, pink, pink. I like blues and pinks. That's kind of shows up a lot in my work. I really like bold, strong colors, so I'm trying to subdue this and uh, make it just a little less uh, in your face, I guess. So for now, this will be this will end up with a little bit of a lighter color later, a brighter color, I think, around her head. I don't want to just do a halo but maybe some little um, rays of light will come out later, right in there. Probably a little more white on this cloud. So you wanna think about your light source. Um, you don't want to highlight things uh, all one way on one side of the painting and the other way on the other side, unless your light source is right in the middle. Then you could have your strong highlights here and here. But because this is uh, more abstract, it's not as important. 
if I don't get all the lighting exactly right, it's okay. Um, kind of like anything goes with abstract art. You can kind of just break all the rules if you want to. I think that's what is so appealing about it. Just like that. And I think I'm going to start into some phthalo blue here. Just to change it up. Give it a little different shade. Really pretty blue, strong blue. Don't need to use near as much of it. And maybe a little of that up here. I like that. I like that. So before I move on, I want to try to make sure I'm fairly happy with what's going on there. Again, to try to get that wet and wet look. Put another little cloudy spot there, a little puff. Darker right there. So that's a little bit hard for my hand to do. So feel free to flip your canvas. Turn it around and that will make it easier. Ah, by my left hand. That's not easy. I can just barely see where she's going to be, and that doesn't bother me. I'm going to make her a little bit transparent, her, him, it. Angels are not always uh, female. In fact, in the Bible, they are quite often warrior, warrior angels, and fear, fear some beings. They always say, fear not. <laughs> so, you know, they had to be, like, terrifying, right? That's what I think. So, I want a little bit of whatever's going on around those wings in the wings. So that uh, later, when I put the white over the top, some of that will show through, hopefully. That's the goal. Not always happening, but it's the goal. And I think I'm just going to leave her head alone for now. Just because this is a nice color to represent that area for right now. Sometimes I have to stop and slow down and think about what I want next. Um, it doesn't always just click in my head. So I really like those colors, so I'm thinking I will go with those colors down here. I need more paint on the knife when I'm not getting it to fill in good. I've got to pick up more color and really uh, load it up better. You can scrape it off too if you don't like it. Change the color, move it around. Clump there. A little bit dark for what I'm after. So I'm thinking. Kind of like rays of light, maybe. 
And which way would that go? And I can go back to a little bit of my ultramarine blue as well. It doesn't have to all be the same color. It's better if it's not all the same color, I guess is what I should have said. And I start there. And start there. having a little problem here. I think I'll put a cloud there. See that or not. I forget. I forget that you can't always see what I'm doing. I have to move things around for you. So I started doing these videos recently because I can't do my art classes anymore. I had to close my studio and my gallery and um, not that great at videoing, but I'm learning as I go, and I thought, why not give it a try? So it's kind of a good way to reconnect with people that I don't see anymore and um, share. I love to just share, teach, so it's a way that I can do that too. I don't want my edges all perfect and straight. I want to make sure they're irregular. Um, things kind of blow away or like that. They kind of like, they're not just perfect and straight. They kind of blow apart. So that's what I'm thinking as I go. I'm thinking how can I loose edges and you can tap you can pull you can curve it you just practice so you're gonna mess some up you're gonna have some that don't work out and that's okay it's part of it that's how we learn um, if it's absolutely just awful and you just hate it it's okay to Sand it down with sandpaper and paint over it. Put some gesso on it and try again. <laughs> Sometimes that um, is frustrating and I just start with a new board and start over and try again that way. Um, a lot of work to sand off all this texture. So I don't really like that. So I want to take it out and then scrape it out. I'm using lots of paper towels over here out of the... Uh, video. Lots of paper towels. Should have invested stock in paper towels, I suppose. I'm back to phthalo blue and white, and you can kind of see the difference. Phthalo blue lends itself well to greens, and ultramarine blue lends itself well to lavenders and purples. And a little more connection here. Overlapping is a good thing. Get your colors to kind of overlap. So this cloud's not going to work real well with that wing. It's going to look like the wing goes right on off. So I can use that to my advantage as in the wing disappearing or I can just soften out. For now I'm going to soften that cloud out. So later when I bring the wing back in it will, uh, it will show up somewhere right in there, I think. Got a little bit of a place that I want to put a little more color. So if you tip the knife one way, you're going to get sharper edges. If you hold it flat, you're going to get these nice uh, mixtures, effects, um, and the amount of paint so you have to experiment, try to use more paint. I tend to use not enough paint and have to go back and go back. So try to load it up thicker. I'm 
trying to go a little darker close to her so that she will show up a little better later when I add her back in. Okay, so I don't really like what I'm doing here because this blue is going to make a gray, which is fine. Sometimes clouds are gray, but I want to go back to more of my uh, ultramarine blue in here. I think that will look nicer up into that pink. And you don't want to get too picky. I tend to get too picky. Um, I fuss over and over and over. So I got to keep moving. It's abstract. It's supposed to be a little off or odd or um, not finished. It's a lot more paint. easier here. And I think I want some clouds down in there somewhere, but this will get me started. Just large amounts of paint. right in here I need some clouds so I'm going to go back with pink again I really like those clouds up there and I think maybe there <laughs> get brave throw it in there slap it on there I don't want to mess up too much of that but I think that's going to here before it's over. That side of the canvas is a little harder for me to get to. So she would probably be right about here. And I kind of like that. I'm going to put that pink coming right up in there. <sighs> Trying to get this to running out of white again already. I suppose that's a good thing. That means I'm using a lot of paint and white is a good thing in this painting. So I'm trying to be careful to stagger things, not make everything the same level and the same and I 
think down here I'm going to go with some kind of a watery effect. Uh, maybe sea green. This is a permanent green light with white. And all that blue is mixing in. back to phthalo blue. Cool. So maybe um, this could kind of just blend in instead of a horizon line. I could kind of just make all this sort of disappear into each other. That's a little bit strong. So the more you go over it, the more it'll blend. So don't go over it too much. Leave some of those interesting textures and patterns showing. If you want it to actually have some waves, that's not hard. You know, turn the knife the other way. Give it kind of a cap if you want. Can't get to the bottom, so I have to flip it again. Sorry. And I could leave some of that showing through for sand, too, if I wanted. Or I could add more sand later with some burnt umber and white. Or a little pink and orange and burnt umber might make a nice sand for this painting. Um, all right. So I'll play around and finish all that out later. I think that's a nice, a nice start. I want to get this up here done. I'm going to use a little bit more white. Got to put that out. I'm just using a styrofoam plate for my palette. Just lightweight, easy. Again, lots of towels. Wiping off my knife. I like to wipe my knife off a lot as I go. Okay. I'm going to use a hint of cadmium yellow with white. the knife a little bit. I'm trying for more of just a, a energy or glow or not an actual wing. Maybe something like that. If you want a little coming down, that might be nice too. It's turning green. There we go. Take it off, take it off. And maybe some pink will counter that green. My wing's getting huge on that side, so I want to just make it a little bigger on this side. <laughs> or I could go back and shorten it out. It's fine. Either way, it's fine. A little bit of, of rays.
scraping out now. I've got a little too much. I'm scraping out a little. this yet. I want to bring out a little more white. Too much. Take it off. So I've got to get the knife a little more parallel and barely touch so it will pull and slide across the top. Kind of like um, if you're adding more and more mayonnaise and you want thicker amounts or peanut butter or something, you kind of have to let it slide across there. Yum, that sounds good. Mm, not sure there. Maybe a little more yellow. I like that side, so... And again, I need something better with the head. So I've got a lot of pink going on here. Maybe I'll do pink hair. Again, everything is windy and blown apart. So I've tried to pull things, pull, pull it, give it movement. Don't make it straight. So same with the hair. I want to think about um, maybe some pulling in some movement there. Okay, that might be a little big. Not sure, but I kind of like it. So the problem here is my knife is really too big. This one has a smaller tip, so it might be smarter to pick that one up. Take away some of that. Okay, I hope you like it, and have a blessed day.